everybody, Mark Noble in the culturally explosive Lamert Park section of Los Angeles with this No More Download news break. Well, the presidential election is just days away, and all along LGBT issues, particularly same-sex marriage equality, has been a hotbed topic. And at the most recent Democratic National Convention down in North Carolina, there was definitely proof as advocates for same-sex marriage equality and the black church had to come face to face to discuss the topic. <laughs> For the homosexual community and for the president to bow to the money, as Judas did for Jesus Christ, is a disgrace and we are ashamed. We know the story about the 30 pieces of silver, and I am I'm very confident that President Barack Obama will not sacrifice us and will not do that. The pulpit now up for a price as the nation prepares for the upcoming election. The heated debate about same-sex marriage intensifies. Opponents like the National Organization for Marriage are reportedly behind a funding campaign urging a number of black ministers to encourage parishioners to stay away from the polls in light of the president's support of same-sex marriage. Hello, Norfolk State! This isn't about what your church does. It's not about rights, R-I-T-E-S, religious ritual. This is about rights, straight up, R-I-G-H-T-S. If you're gonna follow somebody like that, God help you. No, African Americans are not gonna stay away from the polls because of the marriage equality plank in the Democratic platform. They're not gonna stay away from the polls because President Obama supports it. They're gonna to come to the polls because they wanna see Barack Obama reelected as President of the United States. And it's saying the first gay president. Now you think they're not mocking him? The president is in the White House because of the civil rights movement. And I was a leader in that movement. And I didn't march one inch, one foot, one yard for a man to marry a man and a woman to marry a woman. So the president has forgotten the price that was paid where people died, where they suffered, where they gave their blood to have equal rights in the United States. The black community was denied justice for a long time. We were denied equal citizenship rights for a long time. And it was Americans, black and white, Christian and Jew, gay and straight, that went down and marched with Martin Luther King, who went down who went down and fought for my voting rights, fought for my marriage rights, fought for my civil rights. And I'm so happy that my president, the first African-American president in the history of the United States, has stand, stood up and helped lead the way so that every community understands that we all were there once. Thank you very much. God bless you. Justice. Even more reason why many say it's imperative you get out and vote November the 6th. And clearly this discussion is far from over. Now, to hear more highlights from Mayor Cory Booker's fiery speech at the DNC LGBT caucus, Log on to the No More Download website, or you can also join in on the conversation on Facebook at nomoredownload.tv. We are in the Lamert Park section of Los Angeles. I'm Mark Noble with this No More Download news break.